Hosting July afternoon on Long Island, New York, three years ago. The 76-pound Chinese national vault champion was practicing for these Goodwill games when she fell head first and never got up again. Today at home in Beijing, Song Lan remembers as if it was yesterday. As I was lying on the floor, I could still see what was going on around me. I didn't realize how badly injured I was. The most difficult time for me was when I was first admitted to the hospital. I was in a lot of pain in the hospital where I had the operation. I was very worried. Her parents, who tried to dissuade San Lan from gymnastics because they feared for her safety, were quickly flown to New York from China. My mother was very worried about me at first. She found it hard to accept my injury. From a distance, I heard my mother beg the doctor to please cure my daughter. She almost went down on her knees. In the end, my mother accepted the situation. After months of rehabilitation in New York's Mount Sinai Hospital, she regained some movement in her upper body. Enough, in fact, to push the button that would lower the ball in Times Square to ring in 1999. She soon returned to China with her parents to begin the rest of her life. Her great dreams of Olympic gold gone, replaced with simply the dream of walking again. In the last three years, I've continued to train, and I've never given up. I've been living quite well. I feel my body is recovering, but some things have not improved. I try to do all the things I can do, like brushing my teeth, eating, or changing my clothes, but I still need help from my mother. I like my mother to give me some protection.